Well, it was, it was excellent. I mean, I, I really enjoyed my really enjoyed my experience uh, in uh, in Australia. It was it was it was a great. It's a great great place to shoot and and uh, very very uh, film friendly and and uh, and crew friendly and director friendly and and so to have uh, Katie and Bailey make that kind of commitment to to come to Australia to shoot. So the, the two American uh, cast members, uh, of course, everybody else was was Australian. Um, it was made it comfortable for everyone, and uh, Australia was is, is is it's always been it's always trying to get more and more uh, bigger bigger American movies to come and shoot. So the the incentives they offer are are, are really good. But beyond that, I mean, Melbourne is an amazing city. <clears throat> the facilities are amazing. The crews are amazing. And so, really, lost nothing at all in terms of, of going and shooting in uh, in Australia. I am a huge photo. I, I collect tons and tons of photos online. I'm always online, adding to my to my library, my reference library. And sort of the the, the biggest inspiration for me for the the creatures was the hairless mole rat. Um, you can Google them. They're horrible, horrible looking things. They're they're like I said, they're hairless. They're just wrinkly. They have no eyes and these very very sharp teeth and claws and and there's just something very horrific about them even though they're they're extremely tiny and can fit in your hand they just feel like they could rip you apart and with the idea of these creatures in the movie being very small <clears throat> you wanted them to feel very vicious in their size and and so it was sort of borrowing from that real that real hairless mole rat and then sort of Putting that fantastical bent on them, and uh, and making them look like these really ancient, weathered, old, creepy people uh, that are just that look like they could they could rip you apart. Even one of them could look like they were, they could rip you apart. I think I think I looked at all of them. <laughs> I think I looked at every seven to an eleven year old in uh, in North America. Bailey came in <clears throat> very late in the casting process. She uh, had just finished up a movie called Brothers with uh, with uh, Natalie Portman and Jake Gyllenhaal, and uh, it was actually Natalie who suggested we look at Bailey. She talks. She's friends with. Uh, Mark Johnson, the producer, said, "You need to see this little girl. She's fantastic." And so she came in, and she was. She blew everybody away, and uh, immediately rose to the top of my list as to as to who I wanted to cast. And and thankfully, you know, that uh, everything worked out, and she came on, and she did an amazing job. First and foremost, Marco is incredible. I mean, you're going to have an amazing score just by the fact that he's involved in the process, and so. Guillermo and I put together quite an extensive list of, of inspiration for him in terms of music that we liked, that was from music, from movies, and, 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 and even music that wasn't from movies, and, and sent it to Marco. <clears throat> and then it's just a matter of figuring out the, the emotional tone of the scenes and, <clears throat> and then letting Marco and Buck, uh, his writing partner, uh, go off and do what they do so well. And I love the score. I think it's. I think that it, it fits the movie so well and really, really heightens the experience. Oh, I, I think that it's just so important that if uh, if, uh, if kids who, who who love movies and who want to who want to uh, tell horror stories and direct horror movies, that they just if they have the equipment at hand just to go and do them. And and if the passion is 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 in them. Uh, no matter the level at which they're making them, they'll 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 be good. And and uh, it's the way Guillermo started. He, sh you know, so many directors started just shooting uh, movies with their friends and and uh, and building on that and learning from that. And and uh, um, I mean Argento, he's obviously a, a massive name over here. And and uh, you know, watch his movies and learn from what he does. And and you know, and put your yourself into it and your own ideas and and just have fun with it, basically. And uh, at the end of the day um, your next one is always going to be better than the one you just did so just keep at it and keep doing it